Hey what's up guys this is BNB and a new learning tutorial regarding my last posted videos about DC motor control and stepper motor control I got requests from you guys to make another video to explain how servo motor works and how to control it using Arduino board so let's get started as always we start with a short introduction to explain the servo motor parts and use Servo motors has been around for a long time and are utilized in many applications. They are small in size, but pack a big punch and very energy efficient, which makes them a superior choice for many applications. Unlike the stepper and DC motors, the servo circuitry is built right inside the motor unit and has a positionable shaft, which usually is fitted with a gear. The motor is controlled with an electric signal which determines the amount of movements of the shaft. So from here we define that in order to understand how the servo works, we need to take a look under the hood. Inside there is a pretty simple setup. A small DC motor, potentiometer and a control circuit. The motor is attached by gears to the control wheel. As the motor rotates, the potentiometer's resistance changes. So the control circuit can precisely regulate how much movement there is and in which direction. So when the shaft of the motor is at the desired position, power supply to the motor is stopped. Servos are controlled by sending an electrical pulse of variable width or pulse width modulation through the control wire. Yes, it reminds me the PWM pins of the Arduino. A servo motor can usually only turn 90 degrees in either direction for a total of 180 degrees movement regarding the frequency and the pulse width received through its control wire. The servo motor expects to see a pulse every 20 milliseconds and the length of the pulse will determine how far the motor turns. For example, a 1.5 millisecond pulse will make the motor turn to the 90 degrees position. Shorter than 1.5 milliseconds moves it in the counterclockwise direction toward the 0 degrees position. And any longer than 1.5 millisecond will turn the servo in a clockwise direction toward the 180 degrees position. I'm using in this tutorial a Carson servo used for racing cars due to its very high torque and metal gears. Like all servos it has 3 wires, 1 wire for the signal control and 2 wires for power supply which is 6 volt DC. But for testing the movements it's ok to run with 5 volt DC. I'm using also an Arduino nano board which has already PWM pins for signal control. In order to control the servo. I will use a potentiometer attached to an analog input of my Arduino and the servo shaft will be exactly as same as the potentiometer rotation. I moved to EasyEDA to prepare the circuit diagram. By the way, this video is sponsored by JLC PCB, the largest PCB prototype enterprise in China and high-tech manufacturer specialized in quick PCB prototype and small batch PCB production. And I recommend for you guys JLC PCB service and do not forget that if you are supporting my sponsors, you are supporting me as well. Moving back to the circuit diagram, it's pretty simple since all what we need is a servo motor powered by an external DC 5V power supply and controlled by an Arduino Nano through the analog signals received from a potentiometer. About the control program in this tutorial we will use an Arduino library which is the servo library allowing the creation of a servo instance or object where you need to set the output control pin of the servo and in this example we are using PWM pin 9. Then we are reading the analog signals from the potentiometer through the analog read function from the analog input A0. In order to control the servo we need to use the right function from the servo object which get a value from 0 to 180. So we convert the analog value which is from 0 to 1024 to a value from 0 to 180 using the map function. Then we drop the converted value in the right function. 
We have the code ready and here is our circuit on the breadboard ready as well for the test. As you see guys, each time I turn the potentiometer axis, the servo angle changes. Following this tutorial, you are now able to control and test your servo motors and you can develop this knowledge to control more servo in an advanced mechanism like robotic arms. Let me know through the comment section what other videos do you want me to make for you. Do not forget to thumb this video if you like it and to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome tutorials. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was BMB from Megadas. See you next time.